come, you are in on the fun. Set Abra goddamn Kadabra. I'm taking you with me. Shut up! 
Let's see what we've got here. Nothing here. They must have beaten me to it. Found anything? I think Asav's boys grabbed it. Well, they didn't get far. Maybe they stashed it somewhere. Good point. Tested in that supply crate. That makes eleven. Last one, right? Eleven Hoysala kings, eleven tokens. Shall we go visit that place with the monkeys? Up to you. You're driving. That's right. I am. I was thinking we should see if we can figure out what the symbols mean first, yeah? Okay.
Fancy a recce? Right behind you. Indeed. This will fetch a pretty penny back home, if I don't keep it. Now what? Let's go see. Maybe there'll be something for you. Look who's here. Grey Langer. Huh? The Grey Langer monkeys. You're adorable. Shut up. Oh, and now you're blushing. Sorry, guys. Didn't bring any bananas with me. Actually, monkeys don't really eat bananas. Oh, come on. Really? I mean, they can, but they don't in the wild. They mostly stick to bugs, nuts, and leaves. Besides, bananas are too sugary. <sighs> My illusions are shattered. Next thing you're going to tell me, there's no Easter Bunny. Oh, no, that's absolutely real. Let's go to that last fort. Let's get moving. Fraser, need to ask you something. It's important. Go ahead. You and Nathan drink. Professional relationship? Mostly professional. Oh, God. 
Oh! Oh! Hey, you're not one to talk about questionable choices, mate. A salve? And that other one, the trust fund brat? They weren't a choice, they were means to an end. But Drake, he wasn't so bad. I mean, fish choice. Careful, the Sob's men might be around. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. In. What is fine? <gasps> Roger. No. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, the statue moved again. Careful, I don't like the looks of this.
Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. Uh, star and rings. They're all boys to our sons, but I like your descriptions better. Turns out getting walloped by an axe. That's a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. <laughs> Close shave!
far so good. Let's make an act.
Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <clears throat> Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to yeah. fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. I'm glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. For what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation. We got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away, be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice.
Here we go. Come in. Oh, come in. Shall we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. Ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> huh. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? <laughs> 